They're gonna peony though. All right, they're not giving up. You gotta give it to them, okay? No, oh, that. <laughs> I, I take my statement back. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if you could play the Pokemon trading card game and your Pokemon never got knocked out? Like you could knock out your opponent's Pokemon, that's fine. But your Pokemon, no, nah, they just never got knocked out. Wouldn't that be awesome? Well, with Stone Journer VMAX, your dreams can become a reality. Stone Journer VMAX has a hefty 330 hit points with full face guard and a full playset of stone fighting energy on your Stone Journer VMAX. You can decrease the damage dealt to it by up to 100 damage. Combine that with a whole bunch of healing options, and Stone Journer VMAX is a force to be reckoned with in standard format and is even placing well in online tournaments. I am super stoked to show off this new Stone Journer VMAX deck, but before we get to it, let's head on over to FullGripGames.com. FullGripGames.com is the best place to buy Pokemon trading card game singles and sealed product. We've got super fast shipping and top-notch grading. You really won't find better service anywhere than at FullGripGames.com. And we've got a buy list. So if you've got extra cards lying around your house and you're trying to get some cash for them or store credit, make sure to check out the Full Grip Games buy list. We are always buying bulk and singles here at the shop and selling your extra cards to Full Grip Games directly supports the content I create here on Tricky Gym. Now, let's get to that Stone Journer VMAX deck. Isn't it just beautiful? It turns out six Pokemon is all you need when your Stone Journer VMAX never gets knocked out. This deck is hilarious. It's chock full of healing and disruption. It's really tough to play against, and it features Stone Journer VMAX, a Pokemon that many players would have thought was the worst Pokemon VMAX ever printed. But you get to one-hit KO Jolteon VMAX, which is incredible. You give Mew VMAX decks a really tough time. This deck is a lot of fun to play and way better than I think it has any right to be in standard format right now. We play four copies of Boost Shake to allow you to evolve Stone Journer V into Stone Journer VMAX as early as the first turn of the game. Four copies of Hyper Potion, which allows you to heal 120 damage. You have to discard two energy from Stone Journer in order to use it, but with Stone Gift, you can accelerate extra fighting energy to Stone Journer throughout the game while also healing. So you can see how much healing potential there really is in this deck. Combine it with four copies of Lucky Ice Pop and two copies of Team Yeltao and a Pokemon Center Lady for good measure. And you can see how your opponent is going to be having a really tough time competing against this deck, especially when you're throwing crushing hammers at them and discarding their special energy with Flannery. This is also a deck that makes great use of Kabu, a supporter card that allows you to shuffle draw eight if you only have one Pokemon in play. And you almost always only have one Stone Journer VMAX in play because it's all you need, because the Stone Journer VMAX never gets knocked out. This deck was used by Magui Master to finish in the top eight of the Sunday Open Online Pokemon TCG series. So big props to Magui Master for a great finish with this awesome deck. You'll have to see this deck in action to believe it. So check out the gameplay ahead and let me know what you think of Stone Journer VMAX in the comments below. What the Stone Journer deck has going for it is that it can beat the Mew deck and it can beat Jolteon which are two of the best decks in the Pokemon TCG. And it can beat those decks quite handily, especially if you hit your hammerheads. And we got the stone energy. We're going for Kabu. And that's the thing is that it'd be really nice if we could just hit that boost shake so that there it is. Boom. Crushing hammer. Yeah, yeah. Get, get, get it out of there. And then we got the insane boost shake. Now I'm huge. I've only got one stone Jurner V max in the deck. And it doesn't even matter because with the stone fighting energy right now, I've got an effective 350 hit points. I can hyper potion to heal. I can use stone gift to heal. There's just so much that I can do. And my opponent has to energy mix. I mean, they literally just don't have it, right? So this, <laughs> I'm going to use schoolgirl Now, when I was first looking at the deck list, I was thinking to myself, like, why does this deck play schoolgirl? You know, you draw four cards if you have two, four, or six prize cards remaining. What if your opponent knocks out 
a Stone Turner VMAX and has three prizes remaining. They literally never do that. That's I think that that's that's the part that I failed to recognize is that they literally never ever <laughs> knock out the Stone Turner. <laughs> they never knock it out. <laughs> And we could just use Stone Gift to get extra energy onto the Stone Journer V Max so that then I can hyper potion. Which is gonna be really sweet. It looks like my opponent's playing Latias. Oh oh boy. Not a lot of Mew decks play Latias, but I wonder if that's gonna matter. I guess it doesn't really matter if I'm able to remove enough of their energy, right? Or maybe I could eventually mill them out. I guess I only have two bosses' orders, right? The Latias is going to make things a little bit more tricky. But then they're like not doing any damage with the Latias. So who really cares, right? Because they're doing 70 damage at a time. I'm literally taking minus 40 damage right now. If I can get that um, full face guard onto my Stone Journer, then I'm going to be taking... I mean, I might be taking like minus, if you have four stone fighting energy, it's minus 80. You could take minus 100 damage. Yeah, I mean, that's, it's only doing 30 damage. It really doesn't, doesn't really matter. I'm going to use schoolgirl and draw some cards. Got the lucky ice pop. That's cool. So let's just, uh, let's just do that real quick. That's nice. I don't really feel like I need to do too much else. I do want a stadium card because... I don't really feel like damaging myself with the old cemetery. It seems kind of silly. So I feel like I'm just going to use stone gift to get an extra. I guess I didn't need to waste that lucky ice pop if I was just going to stone gift, but I should probably stone gift because we just load up. Oh, what the heck, bro? Wait, that was a crazy interaction. Okay, so I stone gift, and then I took the damage from old cemetery, and then it healed. With the, yeah, that was based. I loved that. <laughs> that was sick. I didn't understand that it was. Uh, I didn't. I didn't see, foresee it happening that way. I've never seen that interaction before, but that was kind of sick. All right, they're using Techno Blast. They're over the thirty damage from Dino. That didn't take them very long to get sick of that that play. So they're just in with the Techno Blast, which is fantastic. So, I can actually attack and use Max Rockfall now. I think that I want to use Hyper Potion. Let's let's Schoolgirl first. Schoolgirl seems good because we get to grow our hand size, right? We got the Yell Tau and the Hyper Potion, which is pretty pretty gnarly. And I've got a Stone Fighting Energy. I really wish I had a. That's my last hammer. Cool. Take that there. I really wish I had a stadium because I don't want to eat this damage, but that seems fine. We're going to attach that. I eat it. It's cool. We're going to hyper potion this. Discard those. 120. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty sick. And then I can just do the, the yell towel. That's nice. And then the lucky ice pop just to like make them feel bad. We do the Lucky Ice Pop. Yeah, and bring it back. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Now we use Max Rockfall for 200 damage. And that's uh, that's pretty based. Yo, thank you, Primetime Wizard, for the uh, raid. Hopefully you're having a busted day. Thank you. 170 damage there, not, not 200. For some reason. You resist fighting? What? Oh my gosh. Mew resists fighting? I don't... This is... I, I'm i like speechless. I can't believe it. Yeah, thank you, Schmegtastic, for the sub and the three months. And thank you, Horshi, for the 30 months. Appreciate you. I don't know why I'm just now realizing that Mew resists fighting. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Because Mew literally has everything, right? But uh, 
it's it's cool, bro. It it don't really matter. I'm still gonna win this game. It it's it's cool for real. Yeah, that's fine. No sweat. Let's say Avery draw some cards. And they have to discard a Pokemon. I guess I could just gust and knock out the Latias. That would uh That would be pretty nice. And I'm just gonna use Max Rockfall. I don't really need to do anything else. You just swing for 170 damage. And uh you know, that way they they have to do something else. I'm taking minus 60 damage. I have effectively 390 hit points right now. 300, 390 hit points. They're never going to knock out the Stone Journer. I guess I see now why the deck plays all the schoolgirls. Because if they knock out the Stone Journer, you lose, right? <laughs> There is no Stone Journer number two. It's just the one. Your opponent only has to take like three prizes to win, but they'll never take the three prizes. Yeah. The challenge. <laughs> They're just. <laughs> Wait, they must have used the Latias attack last turn. That's fine. I'm just going to put this here. Attach another energy. Yo, chill. Yeah, that's fine. I could have used Stone Gift to heal, but I can wait until I get more damage on me. We've got way more Hyper Potion left. I've got like three Hyper Potion left in the deck. And they're literally doing zero damage with Dyna Barrier now. So all I have to do is hang out until I find one of my boss's orders. All right, that's that's fine. That does not matter. I can do that. I mean, I'm taking minus... Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I forgot. Team Yeltal heals the opponent. That's kind of cringe. It's it's fine, though. All right, here we go, Marnie. I've never, I've never seen the other side of Team Yeltal happen before. But it is cool. It's cool. This deck is more about the vibe and less about taking prizes, if you know what I'm saying. And then uh, we'll just keep putting the pressure on. All I need to do is find a boss's orders, and I can boss up the Latias, and then they won't have that option anymore. Because there's no way that they play, you know, more than a couple, more than one Latias. Like, who plays more than one Latias, right? There's no way. Like, absolutely no chance. Now, they're doing zero damage. Like, you could do this for an amount of time, I guess, but eventually, you know, you're probably going to deck out before I do if we're being... If we're being honest. Okay, here's my boss's orders. That's sick. I'll use... I'll use Stone Gift. That's fine. That way I can Hyper Potion if I want to. Get myself completely healed. The Stone Journer now has four stone energy on it. So I'm taking minus 80 damage. And I, I frankly don't know... Yeah, I, I don't really know what Muse options are we're gonna gust up this guy and max rockfall and take our prize now their protection is gone and they scoop that's it <laughs> i'm playing against the hoopa Moltres deck. Honestly, that deck, this feels like a free matchup. I uh, I don't think that we can possibly lose to the Hoopa Moltres Sableye deck. This should be absolutely free. Because they can ping damage or whatever, but they'll just never be able to seal the deal because I'm going to be healing off so much damage turn after turn and what's hilarious is that a few months ago if you had asked people what the worst v max was stone journer v max would have probably been voted one of the bottom 10 worst pokemon v max of all time right but stone journer v max actually kind of kind of dope for real it's i mean it's doing its thing yeah, definitely would have been considered one of 
the worst V Max is. Yeah. But not anymore, friends. Not anymore. Um, really not trying to get dunked or anything. That's for sure. But we're not playing. Yeah, we're going to use Schoolgirl. These four cards are going to be dope for sure. This is going to fully heal us, definitely. Oh, boy. <laughs> Here we go. Guard press. Yeah, they ain't got it, dude. They ain't got it. That guard press, relevant, minus 20 damage. Yeah. And the full face guard. It's minus 40 damage. They have to do 190 damage in order to knock me out. There's no way. I can't really afford to play Pokemon Center Lady yet because I need to find a VMAX desperately. And I don't have a Kabu in my hand, which is probably my best draw card. Marnie feels kind of bad, but if I don't find a Kabu off of the Poke Gear, Marnie it is. I mean, you can assault gate all you want. It's really, you know, you're going to run out of scoop up nets trying to do that. Sable IV, yeah, I know you got to look out for Sable IV, but. In order for them to get the Sable IV play, they I have to like take a knockout first so that they can Raihan to it or something. And I'm going to make sure that I have a fully developed board. And by fully developed board, I mean I'm going to have a Stone Journer V. <laughs> by fully developed board, I mean I'm going to have a Stone Journer V Max in play. That's my fully developed board. <laughs> I'm going to evolve my gigantic Pokemon V into a bigger Pokemon V Max. That's the that's the fully developed board we're going for. Nice. I found Kabu. They didn't attack cuz they missed their energy. So here we go with Kabu. And there's my beautiful V Max. Excellent. We'll go with the lucky ice pop. Bring it back now, y'all. I think I could Perfect math, the yell towel. I think that that seems fine. And then here's the VMAX. And I'm just going to pass. Not really anything to do here. And we'll just, we'll just chill. Now, the scary thing is that, you know, they could start using quick shooting, I guess. To place damage counters on my guy. But, uh, you know, and then they could come in with Sable IV and maybe try to finesse something like that. If they play Sable I mean, do all. Oh, there it is. Okay. I was going to say all these lists play Sable Eye, right? So here's the same. I feel like you've revealed your hand too early. You know, you've just put the sable eye out there very early. I could just gust and knock it out. Nice. We've got another Stone Journer V Max, but again, never want to let this Stone Journer get knocked out. Maybe this will be a match where I actually do build up a second Stone Journer, though that sounds pretty horrible. I don't think I ever want to do that, right? So they're piling some damage on. They got a lot of ways to heal, or not heal, get their energy back. You know, Clara, training court, stuff like that. Cool. We'll just attach this, and I don't have too much else going on. They shouldn't be able to power up a Sableye in one turn. 
So we'll just pass. You can't stone gift a stone fighting energy. Chat. You you cannot do that. So don't yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's only a fighting energy when it's attached to a Pokemon. So in your hand, it does not count as the fighting energy that is required for stone gift. Right? Right. See so they can retreat, scoop up net. Nah, they're just gonna retreat and pass. Cool. I've got Avery. Avery actually pretty good. They got an energy on Sableye, though, and I'm, like, about to lose. I guess I could Hyper Potion. We're fine. Okay, we'll find an energy, too. Yeah, definitely. Avery seems pretty good. They're going to have to discard some things that they don't want to. That was, like, the perfect turn to Avery because they have this Tapu Koko in the active. Yeah, so they have to get rid of both of those. That's cool. Now I can Stone Gift, which is going to be awesome, so... We're going to do that stone gift, heal it up, and then I can just boss up this Intellion and knock that out. I mean, maybe the Intellion, like, what's the bigger problem, the Sableye or the Intellion? I should probably just take the two prizes on the Sableye, right? Probably. Yeah. Probably. So they're going to pop me with the Hoopa. Nice, we got another stone fighting energy. That's great. I think that... I can hyper potion. Yeah, let's do that. It's not time to gust. We're going to hyper potion this. Get rid of these, right? Attach the stone energy. Energy retrieval. I guess I should schoolgirl too. Yeah, that's sick. All right, we got the saucy sauce now. And then I just stone gift another energy on. And what we're doing is like, we're just building up our board state. Our board state, like I said, it's just one stone generator VMAX. And our board position is how many energy I have on it and how much damage counters I have on the stone journer. That's it. That's my board state. <laughs> it's how much <laughs> is... uh. You know, how many resources do we have? How big is my hand size? Okay, now is the time. Yeah, we're going to take this guy out for sure. Lucky Ice Pop, get us fully healed. Bring it back now, y'all. Very cool. Attach this energy, I guess? Yeah, for the eventual... Yeah, that's... Well, no, we'll, we'll hold on to this one. I'm just going to give him the max rock ball. I might want to, like, stone gift and hyper potion next turn or something crazy. And I didn't actually have a hyper potion in my hand, so I felt like keeping the basic energy in my hand for stone gift was better than setting myself up for a hyper potion that did not exist yet. So that's what we're doing. They've got the right... Raihan to the Intellion. The Avery really does a lot of work. I mean, it it's so good against... It's so good against uh, Intellions, right? Because, let's be honest, the Intellion engine is just like an infestation, okay? It's an infestation. <laughs> it's an absolute infestation of standard formats. <laughs> It's nice to have something that actually works against the Intellion engine. Yeah, it's a total plague. It's a plague on standard formats. Assault Gate, cool, for 30 damage? I'll take it. That's pretty good. We've got another schoolgirl. At this point, my hand is so big that you just play the schoolgirl, right? And I can just heal that 50 damage there. I've got plenty of energy and a hyper potion in my hand now. So just give them the max rock fall. And go to three prizes remaining. And you can see how this deck 
can just overwhelm, right? Like you're never going to knock out my stone journer. You're literally never going to do it. <laughs> you, you just can't. You can't. There's not enough resources in most standard decks to take out a single stone journer VMAX. You know, one quick shooting Italian ain't going to do it. For Sableye, that's for sure. They can start going in with Moltres, right? But every time they attack with Moltres, every time they attack with Moltres, they have to use like a Clara, basically. And this deck usually only runs like two Clara. So you're like, all right, there's going to be maybe two, maybe three Moltres that I have to chew through. But is fine because at this point you just get to the point where you have the energy that you need in order to hyper potion lucky ice pop i mean they're only doing 110 damage that's just one hyper potion it's not bad right or it's one extremely strong lucky ice pop now i think that here we just take advantage of the fact that i've got the hyper potions in my hand and the energy and just do it right <clears throat> I don't need to waste a lucky ice pop. It's kind of unnecessary. And I don't need to play any supporters because my hand is awesome. So we're just going to max rockfall and knock that guy out. And then we get a fighting energy. Cool. I mean, they pretty much have to Clara again in order to Galarian Moltres. But if I can just heal enough of that damage off, then we win because I have to just take... One more knockouts, GG's. Thank you, CJ Fern, for the Prime sub, and Trainer Joe. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you for the support. All right, here's the training court. Love that. Training court's actually really good for me because it allows me to bring back my own basic fighting energy so that I can heal more with Stone Gift. And it looks like they're extending the hand. GG's. Dang, got it. Dang, that's a lot of mulligans. I'm playing against Mew V Max. They got. You never want to let your. My opponent's only got 34 cards left in deck, and they haven't played a card yet. Okay, that's how many mulligans we just gave my opponent. They could honestly draw into the very bottom of their deck this turn. That's wild. 12 mulligan. Well, that's what you get when you only play three basic Pokemon in your deck. But it's worth it, okay? It's worth it. Stone Turner doesn't care about how many cards are in your hand. Doesn't care about your Meloetta or your Fusion Strike energy. Does not. Simply does not care. I'm going to probably kick this game off with a Kabu. Shuffle draw eight. And we're hoping that we just don't get dunked. That would be excellent. So I'm looking for a boost shake or a stone journey. Yeah, boost shake. I can't draw into. Hopefully, I didn't hit both my stone journey V Max. That would be wonderful. And I haven't done a deck search. So there's only one way to find out. Boom, let's go. Stone Durner VMAX. We're in the clear, chat. Thank you, Sir Wervin, for the Prime sub and the four months. What's up? How you doing? 300, I mean, look at this, right? This is the my first turn of the game, and I've got a Pokemon in play with an effective 370 hit points. Like, Mew would have to deal 370 damage in order to knock out the Stone Journer V Max. Now, if you want a little, if you want a little bit of depression to go with your morning, with the introduction of Brilliant Stars, Mu V Max can do three hundred and seventy damage. <laughs> yes, if you want a little bit of depression to go with your coffee this morning. Uh, <clears throat> with the introduction of Choice Belt, Mew will be able to do as much damage as it wants to do. Yeah, basically. 
Sky's the limit, baby. So soak it all in while you can, while Mew, you know, is limited to simply doing, what, 280, uh, 400 damage. Yeah. Because right now they're limited to 400 damage. They could actually do it right now. I mean, they could have done 400 damage. They would have needed, what, 280 with Meloetta plus, yeah, 120. They could hit 430 with Choice Belt. That's pretty sick. All right, I've got Schoolgirl. It's definitely time to play the Schoolgirl. That's cool. I'm going to use my Lucky Ice Pop. Bring it back now, y'all. Cool. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. One more time. Okay. We've got this now. And I'm going to use the Stone Gift. And I guess I probably... There's no use in playing Path to the Peak. I would rather Marnie Path. So let's uh, let's just Stone Gift that energy on. Now what's scary about this is that my opponent can just one-hit KO my Stone Journer right now if they haven't played any Power Tablets yet. All they need is the fourth Fusion Strike energy. There it is. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna see if Mew can do it. Mew's hitting for base 200 and... Oh, no, they don't have it. Okay. <laughs> Their hand is, like, weirdly jammed. That's, uh... That's that's nice. I do like that. Now, it's a little bit sus because I could, uh... I need to, like, remove these energies or I could, like, lose. I definitely need to do this. I think I probably have to bench another Stone Journer and like Marnie Path. I think. Yeah. I think so. It definitely feels bad. I got the Stone Gift, which is good. But. They're just cranking out so much damage right now. Right? Because I haven't been able to remove any of these Fusion Strike energy. It's pretty terrible. Alright, they got the old Cemetery, so they're going to be able to draw cards. They could just go for the Knockout on this since they're doing base 280 damage. They just have to... They just have to find, like, four power tablets. Which is why I had to get the second Stone Journer down. Because they just have the potential to one-hit KO, right? Which is so insane that they can do that. I don't know why they're attaching an energy to a Genesex. That feels strange, but it's fine. Cool, another 240 damage from Melodious Echo. It's fine. Crushing Hammer, our first. Let's let's see. A Tails, beautiful. We'll gear. We find Flannery and Schoolgirl. I think that I'm. The Flannery does kind of help, but it does not actually. Uh, the Flannery at least starts to slow things down. <laughs> I think I'm actually good with Flannery. Okay. And then... I'll try and, you know, go for the Hail Mary. Nope, it's cool. And then we just pass. And next turn, I'm going for Kabu. And we need to basically find a Boost Shake or a Stone Journer VMAX off the Kabu next turn. Because this Stone Journer is going down. They just got four Fusion Strike energy in play real fast. But I had to, oh, I had to take that turn to remove one Fusion energy. 
And then I think best case scenario, I find like, I mean, now they're limited to base 210, so it's it's fine, right? It's better than being base 280. I mean, that was like ridiculous. All right, and now we just lose. That's sick. <laughs> is, is there that much more interesting content to come out of the Stone Turner deck? I would like to play against Jolteon and just have them scoop almost immediately. That would be awesome. But I I suspect that I'm not going to see any Jolteon decks today. As much as I would enjoy that. Probably. Yeah, just going to see a bunch of other. Okay. Looks like we're playing against Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX featuring Battle VIP Pass. It's quite interesting. I don't know that I've seen Battle VIP Pass Urshifu before, but why not? Seems fine. I got Schoolgirl. Got Boost Shake. Got everything we need. We're going to go get the still loading Stone Journer VMAX out of the deck. And pretty much chilling. They can swing for 150 damage maximum. This matchup should be incredibly easy. There you go. <laughs> yep. And that's it for the Stonejourner VMAX deck. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash trickygym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content just like this every single weekday. Y'all have a busted day. Peace.